Welcome back everyone as I am now building an iron golem here in this world early this morning and I thought uh, let's just walk through kind of the thought process and the steps I took here to actually get this type of build. Now for whatever reason I did decide that I was going to make a much thicker looking iron golem here at the beginning with the legs. Uh, that obviously does not last because that is a lot of extra blocks, a lot of extra time, and it's only going to be being facing from the front, so there's no reason to really have anything else going on in the back. But as for that, I am just going to start with the base here. I'm going to work my way up from the ground up, make sure I feel like the height's appropriate, everything looks good. So you'll see me continuously kind of like go back, take a look, and then go in. Now that we're done with the legs, you can see I'm going to do that lower half as well. As for the colors and the color scheme, it is very heavily terracotta once again, so those just naturally seem to have some pretty good browns in them, some light tans, along with then having some pretty good grays, or they call them cyan, which I think still looks pretty gray. I'm also not necessarily caring so much about the variance of color as I'm doing this. My biggest goal here is just getting a solid frame that actually I can make sure looks good. And then going back and checking and saying, oh, that's not good. Let me get rid of that. And then saying, ah, oh, this actually, I think, looks better, helping define the arms, everything else. You'll see that over the course of this as I do um, go back and think, well, that doesn't really look too right. I am using a little bit of a reference, but not a lot. So this, a lot of this is just going from essentially a picture and what I think might look good. So working on the head here, this was a little interesting. Couldn't figure out if I really wanted it to be a uh, certain width, a certain height, and you'll see me go back and forth playing around with this. I'll just let her play out. At this point, I'm thinking, okay, I totally nailed it, right? Perfect. So now that we have the frame the way we want it, this is where I'm gonna start adding a lot more of that variance of color to try to give it that kind of cracked, uh, rustic look that an iron golem is known for. Uh, then I realized, oh yeah, it's got eyes. Gotta put those eyes in. So putting on the eyebrow, putting a little bit of the bridge of the nose, and then going and grabbing my uh, black here. Saying, ah, black. Now, the eyes I wasn't so sure on. It does look a little goofy. Still trying to figure it out, and I thought, huh, I don't know, maybe that looks good. More on that later. Don't flame me yet. Throwing on the nose, well, of course, it's gotta be a big extra block nose, so it really insinuates how big of a schnoz that guy's got. And then back to the filling of essentially the body of the golem here. So it is just swapping between light gray concrete, uh, also some light gray terracotta, some scion terracotta, you also see some brown concrete and then brown terracotta pop up as well. The scion is really interesting. It is not very blue. Maybe I'm colorblind, but to me, it looks much more of an off gray, as you can see. Uh, and then the white terracotta is the majority of the body. So here I am just, again, filling it in. I'm like, okay, I'll go back and then I'll remove some. We'll add some colors in. That'll start giving it this kind of variance, maybe camo-like to some degree. But trust, trust. When, it, when it's all said and done, it does look much better. Also trying to switch up, not just necessarily straight lines, uh, leading cracks kind of go vertical, horizontal at the same time. And this is where then going layer by layer, just trying to throw in a little bit of variance as I'm building it up. Of course, the next question that might come up is, well mid, where's the vines? Iron golems have vines. I'm not seeing any green in the palette yet. I did put vines in here, don't worry. Had I done it again, I probably would have included the vines on the build up just because I will have to go back in this situation and then take out blocks again. But I wanted to see the full picture first for my own visual sake and then do the vines. As you can see, I'm kind of adding a little bit more color where I think there should be, but it looks a little weird uh, if you see on the shoulders and the arms. They're just too blocky. And it's funny to say that in Minecraft, that something's too blocky, but here we are. It's too blocky. So I'll back up and I'll think, ah, I gotta do something about this. So either do I put a well-defined line in here and I'm thinking, 
Maybe I throw in some like darker color brown. Nah, no, not really. It's not looking. So then I'm, I just told myself, what if I just kind of got rid of all of this? And then I went back and was like, oh, wait a second. That looks much cleaner. Let me just do, let me just do that. Totally missed the wrong side, but we're good. There it is. Arms look way better now. And then lastly, we're pretty satisfied that it's time to grab the greens. So again, it's a lime terracotta, it's a yellow terracotta, and it's a green terracotta. I'm really just kind of slowly working down, adding a little bit of variance. This part's, I feel like, the easiest because you do want to have some continuousness going on here and you'll easily match up and you'll see after you start adding, it's like, oh, that doesn't look like how a vine would necessarily work. So I'll add an additional block here to kind of make it that connector. The yellows use the least, I think, in this, the lime the most. And there you have it. It's perfect. Then I realized, wow, these eyes look really bad. Let me fix that. So we did, we did fix the eye, and then I put a little bit of vine on here on the right. And there you have it. There is the iron golem now added to the TikTok versus YouTube universe world. And I will see you guys all again in another one.